for Tennessee. I'm just, I'm really happy that Deep Hop chose yesterday to catch three touchdowns. Because wow. if, you're ten, if you're in Tennessee, you're because st it still makes you sick. It still makes you physically ill to watch arguably, and I'm going to go back to a conversation you and I had two weeks ago, I think the last time you and I did the show together, um, arguably the best receiver in the NFL make history for Philadelphia. You know, like A.J. Brown, <laughs> still one of the most confounding trades in recent memory. A.J. Brown yeah. just had his sixth consecutive game of over 125 yards receiving. Most of over 100 broke Calvin Johnson's record over 125 and I need to apologize because you know, I'm getting old sometimes my brain just don't work right. You know, sometimes it just doesn't come to me as quickly as it used to. You know, you know how it is. Um, two weeks ago when I was talking about the possibility of a wide receiver being an MVP for the first time in league history. Like think about that. Jerry Rice never been MVP. Um, you know, Randy Moss is never MVP. Um, go down the list. Like, you know, Terrell Lawrence was never MVP. All, you know, Don Hutchinson, uh, excuse me, Don Hudson was never MVP. Um, Charlie Hennigan, like, go down the list. There were never MV an MVP in NFL history. Um, I was like, although Hennigan was in the AFL, I was like, Tyreek Hill, best receiver in the league. Who else is in the conversation? I believe I omitted that dude. Yeah. Blame my head and not my heart. Because I love yeah. me some A.J. Brown. The city of brotherly love loves them some A.J. Brown. Tennessee loved A.J. Brown. Jalen Hurts clearly loves A.J. Brown. Fantasy managers everywhere love A.J. Brown. And the Titans, I mean, I still, they, they, it's got to make the them Titans sick that he's not. doing that for somebody else. Not enough. They didn't love him enough. Um, they didn't not love enough. enough. So you want to talk about in the building? He was literally in their building and growing up in their building only for them to ship him off to Philadelphia. Obviously, Philadelphia is thankful. Tennessee still ruined that day. But that looking at looking forward, if they got themselves a young quarterback at the top of the second round, um, what a find and, and what a foundation uh, and, and everything else just can flow from there. But you know what, Mike? I mean, really, Think about it. You said if Tennessee got themselves a young quarterback now at the very top of the second round, who knows what can happen? Quarterback and a great receiver. Although it doesn't quite match up the way Philadelphia does because uh, this this wide receiver is now on his third team with the Tennessee sure. Titans, talking about Hopkins. Well, and, look may, and maybe Traylon Burks grows up. Look, maybe Traylon Burks grows up to yeah. do something. Who knows? Yeah. But look what Philadelphia did. Got their quarterback in the second round. They drafted mm -hmm. a receiver in the first round. Traylon Burks, first round pick. Devontae Smith, first round pick. First round pick, yeah. And then Smith traded for somebody higher. else's. Smith higher. Yeah. Then they go out and they get AJ Brown. Yeah. And now that quarterback yeah. is thankful. Right. And so, but th that's because AJ Brown, because AJ Brown and Jalen Hurts were best friends. So he wanted to play with AJ Brown. Maybe the Titans got a quarterback in Will Levis. I know this is way premature that people don't want to come play with. Who knows? Yeah, but here's the other thing. And you bring up a great point of the Titans just kind of just looking at this and saying, well, why do we let him leave? And I just don't think, look, everybody's got to, everybody in the NFL has to say the moment already happened. So anybody who is thinking, who wants to begin a sentence this way, you can't pay a wide receiver and then dot, dot, stop, stop saying that we don't, we don't operate that way anymore. That is dated. Yeah, that's 10 years ago. That's even five years ago. You can't think like that now. And so when, when Miami went out and they traded so much for Tyreek Hill, they didn't overpay for him. They traded mm -hmm. draft capital for Tyreek Hill. They gave him a new contract and that's money well spent because that's what you got to do. Uh, and look, they won the Super Bowl without him. Kansas City did last year. Still got Travis Kelsey. You, despite the loss yesterday, they're going to be fine. But everybody ain't got Patrick Mahomes to make up for the loss of Tyreek Hill. If you don't have Patrick Mahomes and you have a Tyreek Hill type, you got an A.J. Brown type, pay him. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. You cannot right on, trade these right on, guys because right on time. you don't want to pay him. Right on time. That's, how, that's where I wanted to go. Right on time. Y'all read yep. my mind. Um, All right. So I what's mean, your answer? You got a guy... You got a guy 
who's got a thousand yards in eight games, hasn't been done in 60 some odd years. You got a guy who's going over 125 in six straight games, hasn't been done. There's a huge gap between Tyreek, AJ, and then Puka Nakua at number three. It's crazy. Right now, who's the best receiver in the NFL right now? I'm gonna say it's Tyreek Hill. It's Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. I mean, think about uh, if you're if you're just, just put the defensive coordinator hat on. Mm -hmm. And you you're planning for both of them. You yeah. respect both of them. Who you who you One getting of them less sleep scares over? you. One who, of them who you scares less sleep you. Planning for yes, right all the time. Everywhere he goes in the field, it's like everything Tyreek Hill does, it, it dictates your coverage, your thinking, and like wh the whatever speed, you're man. planning, you've got Tyreek Hill all the time on your mind. Yeah. And so I'm gonna give him the edge just because you just you're you're fearful. You're fearful of him constantly. He just opens up he opens up things for your quarterback. He opens up things for other receivers. He opens up things for your running back. You know who Tyreek I mean, you know really, Tyree Hill is? You know who Tyreek Hill is? Mo he's, like, he's a mid. It's Moss-like. What? What? Moss. Damn! Is that what you were about to say? I was about to say he's mini Moss. I was about to say he's mini Moss. In like, like safeties play farther back when you're yeah. facing Tyreek Hill. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just everything. Like, he is priority one for a deep. I was. School yeah, him. Get there him is. there. Get, get yeah. him there. Get him there. <laughs> right. That's that, right. Now, see, now your shit's coming out. <laughs> hey, look. The hey. Black ball. The yeah. white ball knocks yes, the black did. ball completely off the table. But AJ Brown, though. AJ Brown, I mean, we got we can't not show love to AJ Brown. AJ Brown, I would say there are aspects of AJ Brown if I was building a receiver. I would want AJ Brown. Like, I mean, I love his toughness. I love his attitude. Mm -hmm. I love his competitiveness. And it's not to say that Tyreek Hill lacks any of those. Um, he's obviously got that that prototypical like size and strength from a from a from a physical dimension standpoint. He's he's, the, he's more prototypical. Look at his catch. And Look he, at his and catch. He's more it's like he's built, he like built in a, he's built in a lab. I mean, you know, like there's nothing there's nothing he. He's, the productivity speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? Like the product, the production is there. Um, so I don't want to take anything away from AJ Brown. Tyreek's speed is just such a game changer and a game plan changer to, to your point to our conversation till I, I will give the edge to Tyreek Hill, but I'd be more than happy if, if I had to choose if we had to choose one and you pick Tyreek Hill first. AJ Brown is nobody's consolation prize. So like it's, 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 it's definitely a debate in the absence of Justin Jefferson in the absence of Justin Jefferson it is most definitely a debate as to who's the best guy playing right now. And I'm sure Justin I'm Jefferson, <laughs> we always forget the, the guy who's hurt. I mean, so Jamar, he's out Jamar Chase, season. Jamar Chase, right. Jamar Chase is into, right. just entered the chat. We can't forget him. Okay, and they got some guys, right. they got some so guys out here, man. If you, Let's, let's bring the LSU guys in. Let's bring in Chase and Jefferson and then Brown and Hill. Does the conversation change at all? It does. Does either one of those guys uh, Chase or Jefferson make a run for the throne? There's an argument for him. I, I think right right here right now. I'm a, I, okay. I, I'm admittedly going to cop out because I, you know, I love Jamar Chase. That's another uh, root of an argument between the two of us. Love Jamar Chase. I would say Justin Jefferson coming into this year would probably have the crown. Hell, tonight, the guy that's been the guy, I would say the like popular opinion has had him be the guy. Even even without even apart from Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams was that dude for for, for several years. He he was he was the best MC, right? So I mean Devontae Adams might have something still, to say about he, it tonight. Is he it? No, I, w I wouldn't say now, but I mean, how much? But how much of that is his fault? You know what I mean? Like, but I would say, the cop out for me is I'm gonna cop out by saying like, <laughs> throwback. I'm gonna just say numbers don't lie or numbers never lie. <laughs> just misname my own, nah. you know, call my own show by the wrong name. No, because I, I don't think you can deny what Tyreek Hill and AJ Brown are doing right here, right now. I love Jamar Chase. Justin Jefferson has been historic. 
with the start to his career, but I will concentrate the conversation and this is a cop out mm. an intentional cop out to uh, to not make me choose because now mm. we're kind of muddy in the water. It's hard enough to choose between Tyreek Hill and AJ Brown. Now you're asking me to like, well, what about Chase and rank them? I got to think about it. Let me think about it some more and get back to you next week in terms of like See, here's my the, top five wide receivers. That's hard. That might be harder may, than quarterback. Top five wide receiver might be harder than quarterback right now. Might be. I may bring in a that's, disrespectful. That's a this is going to be perceived as a disrespectful layer to the conversation. I don't mean it that way, but I can see how you might take it as disrespect. Uh, so AJ Brown is in the conversation and with Jalen Hurts and Jalen Hurts was not talked about as an elite guy until AJ Brown came. So sometimes quarterbacks make wide receivers. Has this wide receiver mm -hmm. made the quarterback? You know, like, mm -hmm. like two Tyreek Hill took was, did level. his thing. Tyreek Hill right. did his thing with Kansas City and then said, I want the ball more. He's asking, he wanted more money and more, more targets. Yeah. So he gets yeah, away from Travis Kelsey, yeah. goes yeah. to Miami. Ain't and nobody talking about two. You want to talk two about two and now two was in. So yeah. those guys can can Jamar Chase do Stephon, that? I mean, Stephon, Stephon can Diggs did it for uh for uh for Josh Allen. I don't know. We haven't seen Jamar Chase change teams yet. I, I mean, you know, Justin Jefferson kind of did it though. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Kirk I mean, Cousins. I mean, he was like, Kirk Cousins was was above average. But when he's throwing to Justin Jefferson, he's great. Justin Jefferson that's a, allows him to do some that's things. A, that's that a homework difficult. assignment, man. I put I put myself on the spot. Like I ranking the top five right now. Again, I, I go with Tyreek, man. But AJ Brown, man, he was a he was a he was something. Do the something. I gotta go Hill one. He, he nice. I go Hill one. I go Brown two. Brown two. Oh, I think I get Jefferson three. He's hurt. Jefferson three chase. That's four. what I'm saying. If he wasn't hurt, he was doing what he what he does every week. It'd be hard to rank somebody above Justin Jefferson. Yeah. You know. You gotta put him in. I shouted out the I'm big. Like I, I can't wait till you travel. Yeah, you a lot of out there. You travel. You travel, like, they're going, hey, hey man, let me, let me holler at you for a second. Sorry, your segment. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.